I grew up with the very best of Christianity. I grew up in a home filled with love and stability, yet I was very, very insecure. Then decisions were made that uprooted me twice uh, from any further stability during my teenage years and left me confused, angry, guilt-ridden, and even more insecure. I had gone through all the motions of Christianity, becoming saved at age five, baptized, baptized at age 12, because my dad wanted me to, but I never knew the Lord. It was just done for the approval of others. I didn't understand what it all meant. When I reached the age of independence, fueled by the loss due to these decisions during my teenage years that caused such a lifelong pain, a door to a dream opened and I ran through it, crossing every line drawn in the sand by church and family. I left a marriage and a broken-hearted family when I moved halfway across the country to Ontario to fulfill this dream, and then fell flat on my face. <sighs> because I'd left my church and family behind and had too much pride to go home with my tail between my legs, I stayed put in my new life in Ontario. Racked with guilt for what I'd done and guilt for the drugs I was getting involved in, I nearly ended my life. Thankfully, I didn't choose death. Instead, after a couple of years in Ontario and after my grandfather's death, which was the first real loss of a beloved family member for me, I returned to the, faith, or to the foundation of faith that had been laid for me my whole life. Out of extreme loneliness, I turned back to the Lord and dumped on Him all the loneliness and pain I was going through. And this is where we finally met. I poured out all my prayers of longing, joy, sadness, anger, gratitude into writing, into what I call my letters to heaven. I sought out the Lord not only as my savior, but as my dearest and closest friend. We became very close and he helped me walk through a refining fire that was purifying my heart. I had explored the ideas of getting baptized again during the 90s, but I guess the time wasn't right, it just never happened. But I did my best to bring love, as I thought Jesus would, to every moment, to every facet within my circumstances. Yet I was too frightened to choose him in the way I really wanted to, being too caught up in a cycle of abuse and drugs. And I wasn't ready or able to walk away from at that time. After 14 years, God decided that where I'd grown spiritually was ready for the next level. So along came my son, John. And while the experience of him opened me to a love that seeks nothing in return, no reciprocation of any kind other than loving for love's sake, he also introduced me to an even deeper pit of despair, wherein to further shine the light of the Lord. But John first took me down a rabbit hole of anger I have never known, ever. After years of denial and continued drug use as a coping mechanism, I finally confronted God about this whole experience and came face to face with a darkness inside me I never knew existed. And here God shone his light. This was when I finally began to understand the gift of Christ and how I had things in my life that I couldn't make go away. And that rather than wallowing in fear with all its emotions, I could leave it at the cross, knowing Jesus had it covered. And after yet another 14 years, I finally left my second marriage and ended that cycle of abuse and drugs finally. But then COVID started. I guess God thought it was time to take my growth to a new level. I got cut off from my dad as he was in extended care. I ended up back at the edge of an even deeper, darker rabbit hole where I guess God wanted and needed to get within me. I felt cut off from my heart and I could not reconcile the rage I was experiencing. It was like being in a dark void with nothing to grasp onto. But thankfully, thankfully, the Lord was ready for this as he had brought Eddie into my life a year and a half prior. And Eddie became the extension of God's loving arms during this horribly difficult and dark time. I guess the Lord had to break my heart in order to shine his love and light into a pain buried there from my childhood. 
And then he knit my heart back together in a way that has left me no longer feeling angry or guilty, no longer insecure nor confused, cleansed of the pain and its emotions that barricaded me from a deeper sense of his love and presence. I have finally been able to let go of that pain and forgive the past. That is huge. I now feel whole. I have a confidence in life because of the pain he's removed. And because he forgives me, I too forgive myself for everything in the past. Because I now feel that unconditional love of God without the guilt, I, can, I seem to be able to love myself more unconditionally. God's love flows freely out of me, more so. I am blessed by that, and I hope and pray that others will be too. God has pulled me off a fence that I've been on for decades. I've always been in the Lord's court since I fell flat on my face in the 90s, but with only portions of me that I selected, I guess. Now, he has all of me, and now he continues to hold my hand and hold my heart. I am filled once again with that peace that transcends all understanding. I'm no longer mentally entangled by cords of thought versus this thought versus that thought, scrutinizing this versus that. I know who I am. I will still have moments of weakness, but when that happens, rather than beating myself up about it all, I will stand tall in the Lord. I will do my best and let him take care of the rest and where he leads me, I will follow.